to do a little test here and see what happens when I pump my BB gun 50 times and shoot it through this penny and we're going to pump it 50 times and shoot it through this little Hot Wheels toy solid metal bullet. And I'm going to fire. That's 50 pumps. Let's see what happens. Whoa. That almost went through. That's a 1981 penny. 14 penny. I think this is not copper. Still didn't go through. But crack the penny. If you can see the crack. Look at that hairline crack in there. It almost went through. I just pumped this air pump BB gun 50 times and we're gonna see what happens when you put it to a Hot Wheels car that's solid steel on both ends. Here we go. Will it go through or not? The test. Oh yeah. That could be dangerous. Oh, but it didn't go through the other side. That was pretty awesome. Wasn't what I was expecting. All right, we got a 1982 dime here and I've pumped this BB gun 50 times. And we're gonna see what happens, if it's gonna go through or not, or is it gonna do nothing? Solid steel, I guess. Oh yeah. Pretty cool. But it didn't go through. So if you had one of these in your pocket and somebody tried to shoot you, this is what would happen. All right, this is what happened after pumping it 50 times. And the only one that actually went through was the Hot Wheels. And that was the one I thought it wouldn't go through because the metal was so thick. But I guess the cheaper metal um, probably doesn't hold up as well. And I know they use copper in the 1981 pennies, if I'm wrong, correct me. Maybe I should have went a little older. But the 2014, that one cracked on the other side. And the dime held up pretty good too, but also almost went through. Had it been just a little bit more, maybe 60 pumps, it would have went through. 